This must be the place. I made it. Angie. What are you? Stupid question. I am hard. Understand. You are only human, after all. We can outrun them. So what are you going to do, Patel? Relicta is a puzzle game, so the player is presented with a challenge that must be solved with the tools at his disposal. To do this, we provide the player with the basic mechanics that evolves during the game with the help of elements that are found directly on each of the puzzles. The Galash Crater, Experiment Track A. Dr. Patel testing Gravitonic Wearable Interface. These mechanics are the combination of magnetism and gravity that are applied through the clothes of various elements of the environment. Elements like the cube or, in more advanced stages, magnetic plates distributed through the levels. Our intention was to provide the player with mechanics that were easy to execute and understand and complemented them with other elements that will be presented little by little during the game, gradually increasing the complexity of the puzzles. By combining these mechanics, the player will be able to create paths to go through the puzzles, sometimes having to think an alternative way of using the same mechanics and gradually discovering all of its use. When designing puzzles, we take into account several points. First of all, the environment where the puzzle is going to be. There are biomes where puzzles can be more horizontal or vertical depending on the art requirements. For example, it's not the same to create a puzzle in a cave than in an open space. Although we keep all that in mind, the puzzles are first assembled as a prototype without final art, with generic pieces that allow us to limit everything to the magic of the game and check that everything works correctly is in those prototypes where we iterate until we are happy with the result, testing it enough by the whole team to eliminate the design errors. The next step, once the puzzle has been validated, is to give it to the artist, who will adjust the puzzle to the environment while adding the final art together with the lining. Also, they check for collisions to make sure that the puzzle can be played smoothly. Finally, once the puzzles are finished, we continue testing it to avoid all possible mistakes and even add improvement if we find something we had to overlook. The mechanics are gradually introduced through the various biomes to give players the opportunity to understand them as they combine with the basic ones. Although the main mechanics is the combination of magnetism and gravity, we introduced some support mechanics on first tutorials, so we divided it in two different parts of the tutorial biome. In the first part, the cube is introduced along with two types of doors and the teleports. And once we know the basics, the second one begins with gravity and magnetism. In the next area, we keep keeping some times and level to assimilate these mechanics and from there, in each new environment new things are introduced, having synergy with the previous one, such as new types of doors or new kinds of pressure plates. 
Solidaridad Chandra. What's happened? Um, nothing. I was actually going to ask you just that. We're on docking course. Are you folks okay? This way we make sure that there is a scale of difficulty progression through the game and it doesn't become too repetitive since every puzzle adds new elements that make the levels more dynamic. Relicta's art has been strongly conditioned by two fundamental aspects, its narrative design and its genre. Arch Commissioner Ragnar Nguyen Can't take it now, systems. The UHA protocol establishes priority for... Override. Send a 404 error. <laughs> Sneaky, mom. We are facing a game with a serious mature history with a large dose of mystery and certain point of dark. This led us to choose a realistic artistic style, which we considered that could better adapt to that, taking as a reference biomes and real location on our planet that will later modificate according to our own needs. In addition, since the game takes place in a future on a terraformed new base, we saw clear that we needed to represent that in a style with clear contracts between nature and technology. Directly related to this is the influence of the genre of the game, the other key point that has direct impact on the art of Relicta. Being a first-person puzzle game, it was very important to us that there was a clear difference on an artistic level between the puzzle areas where the player will spend most of the hours of the game and with walking areas with the greatest narrative that serve as transition and rest between the puzzles. This, together with the idea that moving away from other games of the genre while puzzles takes place in a closer chambers and looking for a contrast between nature and technology mentioned before, led us to choose more vivid and highly differentiated natural environments for developed puzzles and darker, cooler and more technological areas for the narrative part. At the same time, the genre also forced us to find the balance between the design of the puzzles and making them be beautiful in the environments with a feeling of spaciousness but without dismissing the understanding of these puzzles or affecting the resolution. A terraformed moon offers us the possibility of creating the natural environment we wanted and differenting them enough will help the player to not get visually bored while progressing through the game. In Relicta we find four different natural biomes which are divided into different areas with their particular differences. A forest in a flattened area with a greater difference in terms of colorful tree spaces is not the same as forest in area of cliffs with a predominance of pine trees. Once we get full into the game we will find from a forest to a tropical jungle, but aesthetically it was important for us that the difference between the different biomes was clear and that includes an important work on vegetation, lightning, texture and others. From them, we used real references from different parts of the world and introduced real vegetation in those biomes, trying to make everything consistent with the place we are visiting in the game. As you can see in the images, the difference is great between one another, but it also has to be in the Chandra base. This part serves as introduction to the player to a new biome and its own particularities in its area. In this way we will see terrariums with vegetation typical of the area that we are going to visit next, or lining according to each of the biomes. This is something that is very noticeable in the predominant colors of each area. This environment has to be easily recognizable by the player, since this will mean that if we mix a technology with nature, the difference will be greater if the player could recognize these environments as biomes of the earth, with also all the contrasts that we are searching. We have a total of 10 environments within those 4 biomes, 3 types of forest, one being flatter, another on a cliff, and the third in a river between the mountains, Three glacier environments formed by a taiga, ice cave and a glacier area around a giant ice tower. Two arid environments that give different approach the interior of a canyon with a different degrees of verticality. And finally, two tropical zones differentiated between beach and the tropical jungle. 
This variety is not accidental and is directly related to the internal shape of the puzzle and their elements, so we took it into account when choosing which puzzle will be in each one. The more vertical puzzles with many haze will be placed in arid or cave environments, as well as in the ice tower, while other more flat, but longer ones, will be located in less rocky environment and with less height, but that allow us a greater amplitude. The realistic fig we seek in Relicta can also be seen in this lighting. We have environments that go from sunny day in a tropical beach to a clear night with northern lights in a taiga. This can be seen in the game, since forest areas have more neutral colors, ice areas have cooler tones and arid biomes areas have warmer shades. These differences can also be observed in the Chandra moon base, where each area is illuminated according to the dome or to the point of the narrative on which we are, so that the general appearance of each area is homogeneous and the player really felt into it. The lightning is more beyond something aesthetics. Also, it helps us to guide the player to certain areas of puzzle so they can find the elements in a simpler way, or on the contrary, to accustom the player to having to perform an exploration of the puzzle before solving to find elements that are more hidden. Peggy 16. Patel here. I'm going in. Okay. You get back to Chandra, find Kira, and barricade yourselves in. Sit it out. Forget about the others. Critical containment failure. The relicta chamber is compromised. Systems! Override that! Lock down the sector! Do it now! Inside. 